All right. Hey guys, it's been a while. Um, I just got a comment in a little bit ago asking, uh, it says, hi, thanks for the video. Very useful. But why don't you use the character movement or character movement component planar movement settings? Honestly, cause I didn't think about it. <laughs> um, that, that is a great point. That, that is an awesome point. Um, and basically what they're talking about, um, so one of the things that one of the issues that we were running into was if you started to run into something, you would get pushed further and further and further away from it. And then all of a sudden you would fall off the world, you know what I mean? Or get it completely off track and not be able to get back on track. So one thing that we were doing is on event, well, actually on begin play, let me find my begin play really quick. Uh, begin play. So right over here, we were getting the actor's Y position and setting that as our level Y, right? As soon as the level started, that way we grab that up and we could just set that back to the character on event tick here. We were going through getting the, you know, the actor position was not equal to our level Y. Then we're setting that actor position, uh, where it is in the world for X and Z, but then we're setting it's Y back to was, which works. Because if we, we got this plugged in, all that good stuff. We hit play. You'll notice we just kind of smack into that. We're not going anywhere, right? But a much simpler way of doing it, which uh, I'm gonna butcher your name, man. I am so sorry, Ivan. I'm not gonna try to say your last name. I'm sorry. But I, Ivan um, put out, you know, like, why aren't you using this? And I was like, well, I don't know. So I hadn't looked at this in forever. So came over here and I was like, okay, what is this guy talking about? Typed in planar. And I found this section here. Let's go ahead and undo this really quick so this isn't running. Um, on this section, I was like, okay. And it'll, it'll look more like... Um, this will be zeroed out. I'm going to copy this so I remember it, but it'll be zeroed out and it'll look like this, right? Um, I think this will also be toggled off. There we go. If I remember correctly, this is how it was set up. And I looked at these and I was like, oh, oh my God, I completely forgot about this. Uh, it's been a long time since I've really had to constrain uh, anything. So much like you would use uh constraints on like trying to keep a door uh from flying off of its hinges or something like that um through physics this is the same concept so all we have to do is check on constraint to plane we would set our origin being the point that we set up our player start which is 670 right there for me um so i set that to 670 i'm gonna go ahead and say snap the planet start because might as well right and i'm gonna leave these as zero because i don't care about the x and the z and then i'm gonna set the main constraint axis setting to y uh which you'll notice that automatically switches our normal in the y to one we hit play see this is off so we technically should run off of the uh, edge but this planar movement restraint Keep us from doing that any extra code you guys can see there i'm my i'm got my little thing set up and now we're walking all slow because we're stuck in the wall basically because <laughs> it's keeping us at that y-axis if i hit f8 here and i click on joe we can see he is at 670. um and let's go ahead and go back in and i'm gonna do my dash where i'm underneath this stuff and f8 again Still at 670. So basically the same idea as what we were doing in Arkham, right? But much simpler. It's already written. Why not utilize it? So again, thank you to Ivan. That's an awesome uh, comment that really helps out a lot. I honestly, I, I forgot about it. Um, some stuff to look forward to, guys. I know I've been away for a while. Um, I got the the uh, virus a little bit ago, and so I've been I've been out of it for a while. Um, so everybody out there. Make sure to stay safe and keep yourselves healthy. Um, listen to you, doctors. <laughs>
Um, but yeah, I got the virus and I've been kind of out of commission. It was more of an annoying thing for me. Like I got very lucky. The symptoms weren't bad for me, but it wasn't, it was just really, really annoying. Really hard to breathe, stuff like that. But other than that, I was perfectly fine. I just did not feel like getting on YouTube. Um, I was wheezing and coughing way too much to try and do a video. So I, again, I apologize that it's been a while. Um, but yeah, some of the stuff to look forward to, I'm going to go ahead and delete some of this really quick. Uh, cause I want to get out a bunch of videos that I've been working on, um, through the magic of editing out all of my coughs and stuff, which I'm still editing all of it. Um, I want to get out some of these. Oh, and we have a crash. This is the part where I'm going to do some of that edit stuff so that you guys don't see, see the rest of this, but I'll get back into this and I'll meet you guys when this is loaded up. All right, we're back. So yeah, like I was saying, some of the stuff to look forward to, and let me get this thing back out here. This was my uh, S bed for both my dialogue and my role. So like, as you guys can see, we can get this nice little dialogue box to pop up whenever we run across this uh, sign. And then we can shift and roll. Shift and spacebar while going in the direction to roll underneath this. As you can see, we can't just walk underneath it. Basically, what we're doing is we're crouching underneath it, uh, which is already set up in Unreal for us to be able to easily do. We're just kind of throwing animation and a leap forward uh, is all we're really doing. Um, but we'll be showing you that stuff. Uh, we'll be getting you a weapon wheel that I haven't even finished yet. I need to get this going. Here's our lollipop weapon, and then we can switch to, I can't remember which one I get. And then we got the, uh, rubber chicken. Uh, each one of these weapons can be set to do different amounts of damage, all that good stuff. So we have like a whole weapon hierarchy, um, set up to where we can do different things with weapons, but they all kind of share the same logic. Um. And then we also have enemies that will track and chase and then damage me as they get close. Smack them with my chicken and they give us a coin. Um, I think we've already gone over the jump stuff. Where we have the double jump and everything, I think. Um, but yeah, that's... There's some other stuff that I haven't fully ironed it out to make sure that I know what the heck I'm talking about before I do it. Um... Trying to get a couple bugs out of the way in the code that I'm writing for myself, and I will show you that stuff soon. But these are the basic mechanics that we'll be going over soon um, in some videos. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for sticking around. All the comments have been awesome. Um, again, I am so sorry I haven't been able to really do a whole bunch of videos. I keep saying that in pretty much every one of my videos. I have to apologize for it being like two, three, four weeks my last video so yeah anyways if you haven't already like comment subscribe uh, i've already seen a lot of you guys joining the discord that's awesome if you guys need help just let me know um i'll do the best i can to get anything answered um but yeah see you guys next time